This is a grisly scene the city council is trying to control with its curfew. It's the one we've seen over and over, the scene where police find another child's body dead. The city council seems to think a curfew will help. They passed their first one more than three months ago. Then all youngsters had to be in by 11. And most times during that curfew, when we checked after 11 or even before 11, kids were not outside. It was very rare to find any out after dark. And even when we found youngsters out, they were afraid to be out because of the danger. And even with that curfew being cautiously obeyed, youngsters kept disappearing, some in broad daylight. So now the city council has put more teeth in its law. Under the new plan, parents can go to jail and youngsters have to be in by 7. But not all the city council members like the curfew. This ordinance is aimed at those parents and those children who are out there in the street. And if we can't protect them, then we are not living up to our responsibility as legislators. We're taking away too much freedom from young people if we change hours. And we got to remember the sun in the summertime does not go down to 9 o'clock. So we're saying that a 16-year-old kid and a 14-year-old kid cannot be out on the playground after 7 o'clock. And that's... Uh, let's move on. Let's proceed. There was much debate after that, but not over whether there should be a curfew, but over the ages and the hours when it should apply. Finally, the council passed its new ordinance, once again hoping that keeping youngsters off the street will help keep them alive. Gary Reeves, Action News.